All right, it's Stereo Police back with uh, the great deck off of 2017, and uh, started out in my kitchen here, and there's my BMF right there, and my BMF has been working hard purchasing DAX. Got a little dinner going there, veggie, veggie chili. Ah, oh, so well, let's see. Across the street, they're building a barn. Going to bring in some horses. So, I did something. Go downstairs here. And there's Jasper. Ah, say hi. Yeah. Take care a little bit later. Just gotta hold on. You wanna go out now? Kinda hot out there. Yeah. Yeah, just hold on. So I did something kind of Yeah, hang tight. Hang tight. <laughs> kind of interesting well let's see I got got the benchmark and there it is and I was so excited to hook it up and hear it that I figured okay well it's in the system well, let's go ahead and use that as part of the initial test so I did something really unfair I did a David versus Goliath thing um, and for my first comparison it was going to be the benchmark, which in theory should be the best deck here. Who knows? And I'm comparing that to the Sonos, to the analog outputs of the Sonos using the internal Sonos deck. Very unfair comparison price wise, but I figured let's get that out of the way right off the bat. So. I didn't know which inputs I hooked them up to. You know what I, I need to do is put this on the tripod so I can talk about this before I give you a listen. All right, so let me get this on the tripod. I'm not much for video editing and uh, making anything fancy. I just like to record as I talk and Probably not very professional as far as videos go, but I don't I don't have time to uh, put together snazzy stuff. I just want to when I feel like talking, I just want to get it out of the way with get it out of the way and and move on. So sorry about the unprofessional video, but anyway, so um, Sonos versus Benchmark DAC three. I had one of them hooked up to my CD input and one hooked up to the tuner input. That's why you see CD and tuner here. I didn't know which was which and from, with my remote I was able to go back and forth. I uh, spent a couple hours listening to various music but in particular these songs that I already talked about. And I have some results here. Now what I'm going to do is I thought I'd go through the results and then tell you which is which at the end. Although I think that be, it would be counterproductive if you're watching this you're probably interested in knowing as I discuss the results, which unit I'm talking about. So I'm going to tell you right now who won. The benchmark killed the Sonos. Now, is that surprising? No. Uh, let me just go through my impressions. I made a bunch of, uh, I scribbled notes on here and uh, I'll just uh, verbally explain. Uh, these are notes that I, I wrote uh, that I could just cover real quick. Um, interestingly, in bass slam, as I call it, those clip speakers can kick you in the gut. They have amazing bass, some of the best bass I've ever heard, accurate. They go low, they go deep. So those clip speakers are very revealing in the bass department, and they give you bass slam, that kind of slam you get in your gut with a kick drum, that sort of thing. Um, they were fairly well equal. And it comes to that. I couldn't tell a difference, okay? When it came to bass resolution, uh, the, the benchmark just killed. 
Um, the, the Sonos was muddy and just jumbled together. I mean, you could hear a bass, but you couldn't distinguish notes. Uh, the benchmark just killed. It just was awesome. Uh, when it came to bass extension, the deepest of the deep, they both went about equally as low. It's just that the Sonos was muddy as heck. Mid-range clarity, benchmark, easily. Well, not easily, but it, it bested the Sonos. Treble was the revealing part. I put three check marks here, which was just wow, 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 okay? In the treble resolution, you know, listening to hi-hats and, and cymbals and some of the guitar notes and the upper parts of the voices and, you know, the benchmark just killed. Treble accuracy, clarity, all the way. When it comes to dynamics, they were both about the same, you know, when there were cha big changes in music and things hitting you and the low versus the high and eh, I couldn't tell the difference, okay? When it came to overall listen listenability or musically satisfying, the benchmark double kill. Wasn't even close. Um, the notes I wrote to myself was the benchmark was the clear winner. Um, I'm trying to read my scribble here. It had a sense of space. And again, I don't know all these fancy words used to describe sound. I just wrote down what came to mind, if it makes any sense to you. It had a sense of space, a, a real 3D aspect to it. Uh, it was remarkable, the benchmark. It was a bit brighter on the top end. The Sonos had sloppy, muddy bass, fuzzy, veiled sound. To me, it was kind of like if you were to take a speaker and put a wool blanket over it. If you were to take the benchmark and put a wool blanket over the speaker, then you'd get the Sonos. That's the best way I can describe it. Uh, and the Sonos was very grainy. Now, in terms of frequency response. You know, I realize both of these things probably measure flat, but I'm just trying to give you an image of, uh, of, of how my brain perceived these two things. So pr pretending they weren't flat, frequency response wise, I would say that the, the um, benchmark, I'm pointing to that here because that corresponds to the left side there, had a very flat, accurate base. It might have dipped down in the mid-range a little bit and it had a very seemingly bright treble. Now by by explaining this I'm not saying it was bad I'm just trying to describe kind of what I heard. The Sonos on the other hand had a bigger bass peak but it was muddy and it wasn't it wasn't flat. Um, the, the Sonos had relative to the benchmark had more mid-range amplitude I guess that you could describe it but it wasn't as clear it was grainy and then the Sonos just tapered off on the top end I mean it the treble just kinda went downhill it, it, it wasn't bright at all um, that's the best way I can describe it so um, clear winner benchmark not surprising it shouldn't be surprising. What would have been shocking had it been the other way around. But we've got David versus Goliath out of the way. So what I want to do is put together my um, microphone and uh, give you an A, B. I'll just flip through some of these songs and give you an A, B between the Sonos and the Benchmark. Okay, we're back. So, since this is the first... Uh, I'm not going to do this in every comparison video since this is the first one. I'll show you my rig here. I've got my little Sony voice recorder. I don't even know what model that is, but it's a very good recorder. I'm recording it um, uh, PCM 9624. Um, so good sampling rate, good quantization. And um, it is sitting about, about listener position, maybe a little high between the clip speakers. The only thing, the only drawback of this is it has omnidirectional microphones and I wish it had uh, cardioid mics. Um, and so because it has omnidirectional it will actually emphasize the bass more than it should. But I'm hoping being this close to the speakers it gets a bit of a near field effect and that might be mitigated but I don't know. 
Um, I don't know how it's going to come out. So, but anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to AB between the Sonos. AB between the Sonos' built-in DAC and the Benchmark DAC 3 L. Um, oh, by the way, this is this is my basement, and um, I got a little thing down here. My nephew is uh, staying with with me for a while, so uh, this is his his space down here. Uh, the dog loves him, so the dog is always down here. He's at work right now. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to uh, put the camera on the tripod, turn on the recorder, and uh, we're going to do A, B. I'm going to tell you right now I'm what I'm going to start out with so you can track it, okay? So I'm going to start out with my remote hitting CD, and that's currently what the benchmark is hooked up to. So I'm going to, you're going to start out hearing the benchmark. And then um, when I hit tuner, you'll hear a little pause, and then the amp will switch over to the tuner, and that's going to be the um, uh, the Sonos. So you're going to have to track the pauses to know which is which. Um, so starting out with the benchmark, going to the Sonos, back and forth, and then I'll flip. I'll go through a couple of songs, uh, the songs that I that I talked about. So here we go. That was that. Um, let me see if I can. Let me do the Pink Floyd one. Uh, bear with me while I. I am not prepared. I thought I had a cue set up here, and I don't. Pink Floyd. All right, here we go. This is the benchmark.
All right. So that's enough of that. I, what I realized is I have my my um, air conditioners running, and because I'm in the basement, we can hear that in the background. So that might have screwed things up a little bit. For, so for the uh, other comparisons, I'm going to make sure that thing is off. Anyway, there you go. So all in all, a benchmark, I would say, just obliterated the Sonos internal DAC. Um, that's it for test one. I think for test two, I'm not going to use the winner. I'm not going to use the benchmark because I want to get that sound out of my mind so I'm not biased. So I'm going to go between um, probably the shit uh, Bifrost multi-bit and the uh, Cambridge DAC Magic 100. And let's see who the... I'll do that one tomorrow. I'm um, done for the day. And uh, we'll go from there. Ciao.